angle subtended by an arc of a circle. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to explain about the angle subtended by an arc of a circle. Introduction to Angle Subtended by an Arc of a Circle A pizza company manufactures pizza and cuts them in pieces using machines. The number of cuts set in the machine could be 4, 6, 8 etc., based on the customer's requirement. But in all these settings, the cuts are to be made such that, the pieces are equal. We know that, any two parts are said to be equal, when all the sides are equal. Similarly in order to get equal pieces in a pizza, the length of the sides, and the arc must be the same in all pieces. This could be easily checked by measuring the angle formed by the circular portion at the center. When the angles formed are equal, the pieces would be of equal size. This is just an example for angle formed by an arc of a circle at the center. There are various other relations, and results about angles formed by the arcs of a circle. We shall study in detail about those in this lesson, angles subtended by an arc of a circle. In the previous lesson, we learnt about the angles subtended by chords of a circle. Let's now see more about the arcs formed corresponding to the chords. Let PQ and CD be two equal chords. By cutting the two arcs, you will find that, the arc CD superimpose the arc PQ completely. They are congruent in the sense that, if one arc is put on the other, without bending or twisting, one superimposes the other completely. Thus, if two chords of a circle are equal, then their corresponding arcs are congruent. And conversely, if two arcs are congruent, then their corresponding chords are equal. Any chord divides the circle into two parts. When the chord is not a diameter, the two arcs formed are one major arc, and the other minor arc. Also, the angle subtended by an arc at the center, is defined to be angle subtended by the corresponding chord at the center. The minor arc PQ subtends the angle POQ. While the major arc subtends the reflex angle POQ. When can we say two arcs are congruent? Congruent arcs or equal arcs of a circle subtend equal angles at the center. Let PQ be an arc, and let A be any point on the circle, then. The angle subtended by the arc at the center namely POQ, is double the angle subtended by it, at any point on the remaining part of the circle say PAQ. Recall that, the region between a chord, and either of its arcs is called a segment of the circle. How could we relate the angles subtended by an arc in the same segment of a circle? If C and A are points on the same segment of the circle, then we have angle PAQ equals angle PCQ. Thus, we have, angles in the same segment of a circle are equal. If a line segment joining two points subtends equal angles at two other points, lying on the same side of the line containing the line segment, the four points lie on a circle. That is, they are concyclic. Also, if the chord PQ is the diameter of the circle. Since angle on a straight line is 180 degrees. Angle POQ is 180 degrees. Thus, angle PAQ is 90 degrees as shown on the screen. Therefore, we have angle in a semicircle is a right angle. We shall now solve few problems using these results. Problems on angles subtended by an arc of a circle. In the given figure, A, B, and C are three points on a circle, with center O, such that angle BOC equals 30 degrees, and angle AOB equals 60 degrees. If D is a point on the circle other than the arc ABC, find angle ADC. Let's solve. From figure we have, angle AOC equals angle AOB plus angle BOC. That is 60 degrees plus 30 degrees, which equals 90 degrees. Arc ABC subtends angle AOC at the center of the circle, and an angle ADC at the point D. 
we know that, the angle subtended by an arc at the center, is double the angle subtended by it at any point on the remaining part of the circle. In the given problem, angle AOC equals twice of angle ADC. Substituting for angle AOC is 90 degrees. We get angle ADC to be 45 degrees. Let's solve another problem. In the given figure A, B, C, and D are four points on a circle. A, C, and B, D intersect at a point E, such that angle B, E, C equals 130 degrees, and angle E, C, D equals 20 degrees. Find angle B, A, C. We are given that, since B, D is a line, and the angles on a line form a linear pair. Angle B, E, C plus angle D, E, C equals 180 degrees. Substituting for angle BEC, we get, angle DEC equals 50 degrees. Also, in triangle DEC, the sum of its angles equals 180 degrees, by the angle sum property of a triangle. Substituting for angle DEC and angle ECD we get, angle EDC equals 110 degrees, as shown on the screen. Considering segment BADCB, angle BAC and angle BDC lie in the same segment. Hence they are equal. That is, angle BAC equals angle BDC. Substituting for angle BDC as 110 degrees we get. Angle BAC equals 110 degrees. Conclusion? Hope this makes you clear about angle subtended by an arc of a circle. Consider the situation that, a farmer wanted to plant four coconut trees, such that they are concyclic in a large piece of land without actually drawing a circle. As the piece of land is very huge, drawing a circle would be a waste of time. So he contacts an engineer who guides him. In the upcoming lesson Cyclic Quadrilaterals, we shall see how the engineer guided the farmer to plant the four trees in a circular fashion, without actually drawing a circle. Before moving on to the next lesson, let's summarize what we have learned in this lesson. Summary If two chords of a circle are equal, then their corresponding arcs are congruent. Conversely, if two arcs are congruent, then their corresponding chords are equal. The angle subtended by the arc at the center namely POQ, is double the angle subtended by it at any point on the remaining part of the circle say PAQ. Angles in the same segment of a circle are equal. If a line segment joining two points subtends equal angles at two other points, lying on the same side of the line containing the line segment, the four points lie on a circle. Angle in a semicircle is a right angle.